Expedition Canada. The Rocky Mountains to the Maritimes, set your reel and cast your line. Come on, let's go fish in Canada. I love it. River oh, Creek, Lake or Stream, and everywhere in between. Come on, let's go fish in Canada. The Fishing Canada Show is brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company, Muscal, serious bug protection, Prince Craft Boats, the more you know, the better we look, and Mercury, number one on the water. Since the advent of the internet, there have been numerous images of giant sturgeon circulated, along with a story of how they were landed by your next door neighbor, Fred, or Jimmy that works down at the auto plant, or your long lost cousin from Thunder Bay, along with his pals, who say they landed this giant creature in a river or lake not far from where they live. Well, in most cases, these are hoaxes, or just a photo from a fish that they doctored up in Photoshop to make it look like they were part of the catch. In reality, though, these sturgeon do exist, and they come from somewhere. And that somewhere, more often than not, is the Fraser River in British Columbia. You see, it's been an ongoing saga for us here at the Fishing Canada Show. Over the years, we've spent numerous days with Vic Caro and the STS team, searching the deepest, darkest corners of the Fraser in pursuit of that elusive 12-foot Leviathan. Whoa, 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 look at that, in the rod holder, buried. <laughs> okay, you think you got him? I think you got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Vic. Go! Oh, go! Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I got. I got. I got all I can do is pull mine. No way of picking mine up on. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! Oh, nice. oh man, you got a beauty. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is one powerful animal. Can you guys lift him? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Fraser River, baby! Doesn't get any better than that. I guarantee you. Oh, my back! Can we put him down soon? Yeah, he's going down. Easy. Nice. Oh, he's all yours, buddy. Wow, you got him, buddy? I got him. You know, this is very comparable. We've actually done some trips down to Costa Rica, the Pacific, and that, and, you know, you're catching big marlin. This is probably my personal biggest fish ever, and we've caught marlin sailfish, so you don't have to travel like 2,000, 3,000 miles to the south of the tropics. You got us right in Canada. I mean, see Canada, and it is the best sturgeon fishing in the world, not some of the best, the best sturgeon fishing in the world. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this thing! The man's a fish right there! Oh my god! Here he comes! Come on, baby! Show me what you got! <laughs> Holy! Uh, yeah. Oh boy, definitely bad. Oh, definitely bad. We don't need oxygen, do we? We good? Hey, what are you doing now, buddy? Get off me, I'm overheating. <laughs> I have a cardiac arrest. Holy, that thing almost dragged me in the creek. <laughs> I wasn't letting go of all Okay. Ah. Oh yeah, beauty. <laughs> wow, the weight of this thing is incredible. On past episodes, you've seen us hook up with some pretty big fish on the lower Fraser, as well as a few from the treacherous upper stretches near Hell's Gate. Although we've had great success and tons of fun reeling in these monsters, we've yet to experience what only a select few have ever done. Are you kidding me? Make contact with one of the planet's only true remaining monsters, a freshwater fish that weighs nearly a thousand pounds. If I had to do nothing more than just reel this thing to the boat without him fighting, I think I'd, I'd have my challenge right there. 
Empty a sweet looking unit. Our last trip here in the spring of the year had Mike along with Ezio Sprizzi of Coleman Canada taking their shot at the big prize. Okay, brother. I told you. I told you it's the bottom of the night. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Oh. Here it comes. Hey. Oh. He's here. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my god, that was a major. Yeah, this is his head. It's like a trip. Look at look at Petey. Oh, that was crazy. Nice shot. Oh. That was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. That you was know, great. I, I said you gotta get into the uh, stethoscope on here and a, yeah. and a what, uh, the heart blood pressure yeah. things and after the guys catch fish, you check it and you mark them. <laughs> 180 over. <laughs> it's close to having a heart attack after that one. Wow. Holy. They had pretty high hopes of tangling with a giant, but timing is everything. And with conditions that were less than favorable, the guys came up short which is why I'm back here today to try and finally put this one into books and do battle with a 12-foot-plus monster white sturgeon. November is prime time on the Fraser. Vic and his staff report more big fish in the river this time of year than any other. How do they know they're there? technology but this really helps you oh you know God. determine where you're going to drop you look on the left here there's a log laying right in there yeah a sturgeon tends to illuminate and look more like a teardrop like if you look on this side it's yeah up. you'll see yeah that one could or couldn't be i wouldn't be too excited about that one yeah but uh someone something more like like that um would be more probably more accurate there's a big log that's laid in that's laying on the river bottom uh, sometimes you see, see the debris you're getting right here. But you can see how this side over here yeah. is all clear. Yeah. And then you look at this side from all the logging over the years and yeah. all the log storage, all the stuff sitting on the bottom. And it's pretty, I mean, there's now, some the logs down like there. hanging out in that They will, stuff. they'll sit yeah. right in, in amongst the stuff. Yeah. Like you'll but have fish, wow. those are all sturgeon right there. And the cool thing about this is you can now take a picture of this image and that'll go on an SD card and I can go back on my computer later and I can you see, with today's advancements in sonar, you simply scan the riverbed for something that might be a fish over 10 feet long. That's the easy part. When you do find one, well, first you try and make it take the bait, and then you just hold on. We're in heaven. We're in surgeon heaven, buddy. You've taken me to the promised land. Look at that baby. Oh my God. Oh boy. I want to take a bite of that myself. Well, I got wow. a little extra. You got a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this year so far, um, I've heard of two fish over 10 feet. I've not heard of a fish over 11 feet. Last year, I think, out of uh, all the angling guides and recreational anglers out on the river, you know, and maybe I've missed a few, but I hear a lot of what goes on out here. I heard about half a dozen fish over 10 feet. Wow. And uh, we got one, an 11 foot one, one of our guides. Yeah, at the I remember end of the season. Yeah, it was October oh, 25th, I believe. And um, but there was a few other ones caught like that. Two days ago, I heard of one 10 foot four, and then I've heard of one other one in that 10 foot range in the last uh, in the last month. Wow! You know, it's funny when you set that hook. You almost wish you don't set it into them. Oh, Whew. nice. Oh, thank you for coming out. Beautiful. Look at the side. Yeah, he's got a nice girth on him. Look at how healthy he is. Ooh, beautiful fish. Yeah, he might even reach six feet. Oh, I yeah, think he's he'll a six. be six. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's six. Oh man. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful wow. condition. Nice big belly on him. You know, I'm a little worried about uh, what's going to happen. I was going to say if, but I'll say when we get the fish we're after. He's actually over he was six. hooked well. He's over six. There you go. The two biggest fish I've ever landed were on days where it was slow fishing. Oh, there we go, left rod. He's coming up. He's coming up. Here he comes, right here behind the boat. Mm, he might be surprising you. He's coming straight up here. I don't know. 
a tail walk would be nice because then I could I know what I'm dealing with, right? <laughs> exactly. And I just do this and then stay around the boat. It's um, makes it hard to know okay. what to do. All right. I don't know if you're just you know a little on the weak side. Yeah. This well, morning, we know that. Or, well, we know that. The fact. <laughs> but I, no, I, that's a big fish. I, some of these fish this time of year are so fat. <laughs> yeah. From all the feeding they've been yeah. doing, and this has been a great year. I mean, we had you know 20 million pinks in the river, and and now all these chum. You know, these fish are healthy and they've got a lot of food in them. So yep. you catch a six foot fish that's 130, 150 pounds. So, you know, it's... Which is no slouch. No, exactly. You know, two things you don't know. You never know the size of the fish when you go to set the hook. Right. You know, the bite just doesn't tell you much. In fact, a lot of the times the smallest <laughs> bites are the biggest fish. And, uh, and, you know, the anticipation of the tail walk, again, yeah. You, you hear he comes, here he comes, and it's a two-footer. Yeah, And exactly. the next time you hear he comes, here he comes, yeah. and it's an eight-footer. Yeah. And Well, this and, was a light bite. I yeah. Mean, I, and I, a, I, and a was, fish like this, you just, it's the whole guessing game. What is it? You yeah. know? Yeah. How, you know it's big. How big? You know? Is oh. it the one we're looking for? I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I think if it is, boy, I will... I will be shocked. Yeah, I don't think it is. Because he's just not doing what he's supposed to do. No. On the other hand... Maybe it's a big fish and really doesn't need to get... Doesn't know what he's supposed to do. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't whoa. He? Oh. Almost. Oh. Almost. Nick. Yeah. How would you like to help a good friend out? Is little hand? I think so. You sure? Yep. Positive. Okay. If it's a three-footer, you're going to be embarrassed. I know I am. You got her? I got her. This is uh, how you tire a fish out. Whoa. Easy now. Uh, do you want the belt? Uh, I'm good right now. <sighs> On truly big fish, this is a great idea for two reasons. Number one, it doesn't burn you out, but more importantly, I mean, this fish is really putting up a, a bit of a struggle, and, and obviously it's to his best interest to get him in the boat as quickly as possible, or to the boat as quickly as possible and release him. So there's no shame in passing him on to a buddy. <sighs> Coming up, coming up. There he is. There he is. Yeah, nice fish. Oh, that's a big fatty. Yeah. That's, that's a big beauty. fatty. He's not the fish we're looking for, though. No. But boy, is he tough. They're, they're just so strong this time of year. Easy, easy. Because they're so healthy. Yeah. You want to hold that? Yep. Boy, that was a strong fish. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's not just, that big. He's about a five and a half. Yeah. He's a, a little under six feet. But again, <laughs> no, he's not that big, but we're talking about a uh, you know, fish almost six feet. Now he's pretty, he's pretty six fish. That's a good fish. Hey, buddy. Thank you very much. Off Back you go. to the beach for the crazy goes. Done. Thank you, Beautiful. sir. Hey, thank you. Oh, that was great. Nice job, buddy. That was great, man. Well, that's a good way to start in the morning. You're darn right. <laughs> good scrap. <laughs> yes, they are a good scrap, aren't they? I'm telling you, these fish are fighting more this <laughs> year than I've ever, ever felt them before. Yeah, they're, well, you know how thick they are, right? Where's Tom over here? Oh, that's oh, yeah, the there he is. That's a, a six-footer. Oh. Six-footer. <laughs> something. <laughs> yes! Although the mere thought of landing one of these beasts is enough to make us come back every year, there is something else. It captures your heart and calls for your return. It's the sheer beauty and magnificence of this part of the country. Wildlife and scenery that is so unique to this area, along with the angling opportunities for salmon, bass, trout, and of course sturgeon make the Fraser Valley truly a world-class angling destination. That thing is still fresh, Vic. Yeah, this is borderline chase. <laughs> it's in the, what do you mean it's borderline chase? <laughs> I might have to give you the now, rod. <laughs> you, think, you think wearing a girly belt would be embarrassing. What if your buddy saw you chasing a, a five or six foot fish? This is, this is uh, it's gonna be six and a half. Oh, okay. All right. What would your buddies think if you were chasing a six and a half? Well, with that? that's that's. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah. All right. He's coming back now. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. 
you know, and here we are. Seriously, we're, we're trying to get something twice his size. Are we yeah. sure we're about I, that? I, I can't imagine it. <laughs> Ed, you were laughing at me, weren't you? You ready? <laughs> okay. This is called a handoff. The reason Mick's doing that is because it's good practice to, uh, to it, it's less fatigue on the fish, apparently. Right, Mick? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with you, right? It's no, got, no, I just it's got nothing. <laughs> this is, you know, to, in order to land the fish in less time. Yeah, that's right. In other words, fresh arms on the... <laughs> in other words, he just got off the hook, is what he's saying. This is a tough fish. All right, time to come home. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's how it works. That's how it's done right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa already. I know, this thing's a, it's a good fish. I know one thing, I am definitely not going to be so hard on clients. No, you can't, because no. it, it's tough, man. Yeah, we're going to definitely be a little kinder. A little gentler, Vic. Yep. I'm, I'm going to be a new man, changed guide. Well, you know what happens is you don't, I mean, literally, this is the first time I have fought a sturgeon in probably since, like, not this last spring, but the spring before. before. So you know, it's a you, long for, time. you forget. I mean, you, yeah. you know, I set hooks and and I encourage people to reel them in, and you know, that's what we do, right? We're, you know, and a lot of times our guests even set the hooks. So here he comes, he's gonna jump. Come up, come up, come up. straight up. There he is. Oh, nice fish! <laughs> that's the one, buddy. No. That looked like Jaws. Are no. you crazy? Five, oh. five footer. That is no five footer. You're <laughs> out of your mind. <laughs> that's not a five foot fish. Did you see the head on that? Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see on well, camera. Well, we'll see on camera. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm no. I'm okay. just saying. No, you're not. You're being a smarty. No, they're usually like I remember I was saying when you see fish. them jump, they're always bigger than what you think. That's not a five foot fish. I will gear, I will stake my reputation on that. That's a six foot fish, and maybe a little better. It's not a five. Okay. I'm telling you. What do I know? And I how just, are we going to... I just do this seven days a week, <laughs> 200 days a year. Although I do wish that you were right, because we really want to... We really want to do that badly, yeah, don't we? Yeah, we, we want that fish. But, you know, I think we have to change the model of this show. What's that? You know, and I think we need to go to, you know, sturgeon <sighs> fishing, regardless of the size you catch. It's great. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. You know, we are going to get the big one, yeah. but... Thank you, fish. Now we're going to move, we're going to focus them in. Now. Yes, we are. Bring them in. Yes, we're we are. We're going to do the hum now. Hum, hum. You do that very well. Bring the fish in. There he comes. You got him. There he is. Oh, there that's is. a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That is a five nice footer. fish. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Please, you shut up. It's a nice five footer. <laughs> Will you shut up? Look at the tail on him. Five foot. Six. Maybe four and a half. Oh. Buddy, if you could just have been like a foot wider. Yeah. We would have we would have called You'd have it been a, ours. We would have called it a day. Yeah. Yeah, God, that's a beautiful, gorgeous fish. And we just need that hook out of there. Ooh. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. <laughs> Might be hard to imagine, but even after a great trip like that and doing battle with some pretty incredible fish, I still have this empty feeling in my gut. And I don't think it'll truly be satisfied until the day comes that that picture that's being circulated on the World Wide Web is of me and my 12-foot Leviathan from the river that runs through Mission, BC. Buddy, I know you'd stay here all night. <laughs> and I would too, but yeah. we're at, we are shooting this thing, so uh, I'm gonna have to be the uh, the bearer of bad news. Let's pull the plug. Yeah, we did. it was a great time, yeah. had a wonderful time. But you know what? At very <laughs> worst, it gives me an excuse to come back. Yeah, okay, for sure. And for sure. and I know that he's still out there somewhere. Yeah. And uh, hey, we'll try him again next year. You betcha. All right. 
Bring him in. All right. Fish in Canada Hotspots, the ultimate fishing guide presents Getting There. This week's hot spot is a deep trough close to shore. Keep an eye out for the seals catching a snooze along the bank. Sturgeon will hold here before moving shallow to search for a quick meal. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. For more hot spots like this, check out our website. To get there, I flew from Toronto directly to Vancouver, British Columbia. I rented a car and took the Lougheed Highway east all the way to Mission City. Once there, I hooked up with Vic Caro of STS Guiding and we headed straight for the river. Visit fishingcanada.com for more details. Fish in Canada was brought to you in part by the Rocket Fishing Rod. MyOutdoorTV.com, outdoor television on the internet. Stern, the life jacket experts. And RadioWorld.ca. Closed captioning provided by Ontario Tourism. Go fish in Ontario.com. For more Fish in Canada, visit FishingCanada.com.